What's happening in Israel is being felt right here in Metro Atlanta. Yeah, and thousands having ties to that area more than 6,000 miles away. Atlanta News First has multiple crews out in the field covering this tonight. We want to start with Atlanta News First, Asia Wilson. Asia, you spoke to a woman right here in Metro Atlanta with family overseas in Israel, right? That's right, and that woman says she hasn't been able to sleep knowing that her brother, cousin, and friends are living in the midst of what she calls Israel's 9-11. She showed me groups of videos of families dying, people in highways, on highways, lying in their own blood. I even spoke to a woman who is on the ground right now, hiding, and even I got emotional. I just feel sick to my stomach. Images of Israel in ruins being felt right here in Metro Atlanta. With my family in Israel, my brother being there, my cousins, my friends, is honestly indescribable. All of my family and friends have been holed up in bomb shelters. Julie Katz's brother grew up in Atlanta. She was just there visiting him two weeks ago for his wedding, not knowing the unimaginable would happen. I don't know one Jewish person in this community that doesn't have family members or friends in Israel that they have been deeply worried about. And from the ground, thousands of miles away in Beersheba, Israel. We ended up being in the bomb shelter under nonstop rocket fire from 6 a.m. until 11 a.m. One bomb fell a few meters from our house. Miria Efune, her husband and four children hiding as friends travel to her parents' Atlanta home to tell them where she and her friends are. Many of our friends nearby us had uh, terrorists roaming their streets, going door from door, door to door, just murdering entire families. The kids are scared. The kids refused to go to the bathroom alone. They were scared to shower or bath unless we promised we would be right there the whole time. It's the reason why Katz, who is the associate director of the American Jewish Committee's Southeastern office, is pleading for Metro Atlanta to stand with them in one of the biggest battles in their lives. Contacting our elected officials to ask them to speak up and stand up for the state of Israel and the innocent civilians that are being targeted and killed. Now, if you would like to help those in Israel, representatives with the American Jewish Committee say that there is a uh, emergency fund being held by the Jewish Agency for Israel. You can donate there. They also say on Tuesday night there will be a community rally in Sandy Springs at City Springs at 715. We're live tonight in Atlanta. Asia Wilson, Atlanta News First. Asia Wilson, very helpful report there.